You have been the veterans of creative suffering. Continue to work with the faith that unearned suffering is redemptive. Go back to Mississippi. Go back to Alabama. Go back to South Carolina. Go back to Georgia. Go back to Louisiana. Go back to the slums and ghettos of our northern cities, knowing that somehow this situation can and will be changed. Let us not wallow in the valley of despair. I say to you today, my friends, even though we still face the difficulties of today and tomorrow, I still have a dream. It is a dream deeply rooted in the American dream. I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up, live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. I have a dream that one day on the red hills of Georgia, sons of former slaves and sons of former slave owners will be able to join together at the table of brotherhood. I have a dream that even the state of Mississippi, a state sweltering with the heat of injustice, sweltering with the heat of oppression, will be transformed into an oasis of freedom and justice. I have a dream that my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I have a dream. I have a dream that one day in Alabama. It's vicious racist with its governor's lips dripping with the words of interposition and nullification. One day, right there in Alabama, little black boys and little black girls will be able to hold hands with little white boys and little white girls as brothers and sisters. I have a dream today. I have a dream that one day every valley shall be exalted, every hill and mountaintop shall be made low. The rough places will be made plain and the crooked places will be made straight. And the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all the flesh shall see it together. This is our hope. This is the faith that I go back to the south with. With this faith, we will be able to hew out a mountain of despair, a stone of hope. With this faith, we will be able to transform the jangling discard of our nation into a beautiful symphony of brotherhood. With this faith, we will be able to work together to pray together, to suffer together, to stand for freedom together, knowing that we will be free one day. This will be the day when all of God's children will be able to sing with new meaning. My country, tis of thee, sweet land of liberty, of thee I sing. Though my fathers died, land of pilgrim pride, from every mountainside let freedom ring. And if America is to be a great nation, this must become true. So let freedom ring from the prodigious hilltops of New Hampshire, let freedom ring from the mighty mountains of New York. Let freedom ring from the heightening Appalachianese of Pennsylvania. Let freedom ring from the snow-capped Rockies of Colorado. Let freedom ring from the curvaceous slopes of California. But not only that, let freedom ring from Stone Mountain of Georgia. Let freedom ring from Lookout Mountain of Tennessee. Let freedom ring from every hill and molehill of Mississippi. From every mountainside, let freedom ring. And when this happens, we will allow freedom to ring, when we let it ring from every village and every hamlet, from every state and every city. We will be able to speed up the day when all of God's children, black men and white men, Jews and Gentiles, Protestants and Catholics, we will be able to join hands and sing in the words of the Negro spiritual. Free at last, free at last. Good God Almighty, we are free at last.